Okay, so next we're going to look at solving equations for exponentials, and this is for exercise 14f. So this is an equation I've got here. It is 3 to the power of x equals 20. So clearly we've got an exponential in here, and we're going to want to learn how to solve this. So what I'm going to do is this thing I've got in the blue box here, which says we're going to be taking logs of both sides. So if I have this 3 to the power of x equals 20, I can take logs of both sides. This means rewriting it as a logarithm statement. Now, you can either use that technique of applying log base 3 to this side and log base 3 to this side to get that x is equal to log base 3 of 20, or we can do that alternative method of thinking about how we would rewrite this. So we would say that the power of base 3 that gives me 20 is x. So this is kind of like method 1 we talked about ages ago, and this is like method 2. But either way, we've got here that the answer is log base 3 of 20. So I'm just going to type that into my calculator, log base 3 of 20. And so the answer that we have is that x is equal to 2.73. And I'm just going to do that to two decimal places that we've got here. Let's just check what that actually means. We're saying that 3 to the power of 2.73 is going to be equal to 20. And you can see it's nearly exactly equal to 20, but it's because I had to do some rounding there. Now I've done a little side note. I've said that actually you can take logs of any base of both sides. And I'm going to investigate what happens if we do it with ln. The reason I do this is because I sometimes prefer this as a method because it can be quicker to type and to write out. And I know that sounds really weird, but as we go deeper into maths, we find ourselves using the natural logarithm a lot more. So I sometimes could solve this using a different method. I'm going to switch to a purple ink here. And I'm instead of taking the log base three of both sides, I'm going to do the log, uh, the natural log of both sides. So I'm going to do ln of three x and I'm going to do ln of 20. And now we're going to use this law where I've got the power up here, which means that I can bring it to the front so that I get x ln 3 equals ln 20. So x is ln 20 divided by ln 3. Let's see what ln 20 divided by ln 3 is. ln 20 divided by ln3. And we've got that 2.73 as well. So this is a different method that we can do here. And the reason I prefer this method is one, because it's consistent. You're going to, you can use this method for all logarithms questions. Whereas this one, you have to use just when there's one single base. And you'll see an example in a second where we can't use this blue method. The other reason is I just really like using, and this sounds so lame, but I really like the LN button. I just find it easier to use. There's no base changes. It's just kind of ready to go. Now, I did this one using ln. Equally, I could have just done this with a log button. I could have done log base 10. In fact, I could have done it of log base 2. I could have done it of any base at all that I liked. OK, let's try some other ones that we've got here. So we could do this in the blue method that we did on the previous page. So I've got 5 to the power of 4x minus 1 equals 61. Rewriting this as a log statement, well, I would say that the power of base 5 that gives 61 is 4x minus 1. So solving this equation, I would then do log base 5, 61. I would add 1 to get 4x, and then I would divide it by 4. So x is going to be log base 5 of 61 plus 1 divided by 4. Let's see if that works. So we're going to do log base 5 of 61 plus 1 divided by 4 and we get that x is going to be equal to 0 0.89 to two decimal places. I'm going to sub it back in and see if it works. So I'm going to do 5 to the power of 4 times 0 0.89 minus 1. And we get that it's close to 61. It's not going to be exactly 61 because of the rounding that happened there. And now I'm going to do it taking ln of both sides just to show you my alternative method, which is going to be, I think, a more consistent method. Um, so if I take ln of both sides, I would get ln of 5 to the power of 4x minus 1 equals ln 61. And I'm going to take this whole power, this 4x minus 1, I'm going to pull it down, but make sure you have to say that the whole thing is being multiplied so that it looks like this. And so I get 4x minus 1 equals ln 61 over ln 5. So x is going to be ln 61 over ln 5 plus 1 
all divided by four. So let's type that in. It's going to be ln 61 over ln 5 uh, plus 1. And then we div oh, I haven't got the bracket closing, which is what's happened. And I'm going to do that divided by 4. And we get the same answer of 0 0.89. So we have 0 0.89 here to two decimal places. So it's worth being familiar with both of these. Now, the reason you need to be familiar with this purple method is for questions that like this, that look like this. You'll notice this one has base three and this one has base two. So I'm gonna write down here, because they have different bases and the bases here are three and two, we cannot rewrite as logarithms. So what we're going to do instead is we will take logs of both sides. Now you could do log base 10 of both sides, or you could do log base 2 of both sides, or you could do log base 3 of both sides, or you could do log anything. But I just like doing ln. I just find it easier to write. It sounds silly, but it's just a habit I've got into. So I always like doing ln of both sides here. You may see it done differently in the textbook, but it's just how I like to do it. So I've got 3 to the power of x equals 2 to the power of x plus 1. So I'm going to ln both sides. So I'm going to do ln of 3 to the power of x equals ln of 2 to the power of x plus 1. So I'll pull that x down, so I get x ln 3. And I'm going to pull that x plus 1 down like this, so I get x plus 1 ln 2. Now all I'm going to do is expand those brackets on the right hand side, so it's going to be x multiplied by ln2 plus ln2. I just did x times ln2 and 1 times ln2 there. Now I'm going to collect the x terms together, so I get x ln3 minus x ln2 equals ln2. And I'm going to factorise, so I get x, take out the x from both of them, and we get this and then I'm gonna divide. So I get ln2 divided by ln3 minus ln2. And it's worth noting, this is the answer in exact form. It's in its non-decimal form, but I'm gonna find it in its decimal form. So we're going to do ln2 over ln3 minus ln2. And we get the answer 1.71. I'm doing that to two decimal places, so 1.71 to two decimal places. And I'm just going to check this answer, okay? I'm going to check this answer, and I'm just going to check it in a red. So I'm going to do 3 to the power of 1.71, and then I'm going to do 2 to the power of 2 plus 1.71, which is 2 to the power of 2.71. So 3 to the power of 1.71 is 6.544. 6.544 and 2 to the power of 2.71 is 6.543. 6.543. And so look, because of the rounding here, they're not exactly the same, but they are both 6.54. So we've solved this equation correctly, and the answer is 1.71. This is its decimal form, which is less useful later on in year two. They're always going to want exact forms. Like I said, you didn't have to do ln. You could have done any of these ones. Personally, I just preferred doing it with ln, OK? Try it, though. Why don't you try it with log base 2? Why don't you try it with log base 3? It might, might be more simple. Um, I might try that at the end of the video. I might go back to that one and redo it. Try and hopefully remember that. OK, so this one again. You could take the log of anything that you liked here, but I'm going to do the log um, ln on both sides. So I'm going to take ln of both sides, take logs of both sides, and we'll see what happens. So I'm going to do ln of 2 to the power of x, 3 to the power of x plus 1 equals ln 5. Now we know what we can do to this side here, because there's a log law that says we can split that to an ln of 2x plus an ln of 3 to the power of x plus 1. Remember that law. If these are multiplied, you can split them into adding. So I'm going to pull down that power, so I get x ln 2. I'm going to pull down this power, so I get x plus 1 ln 3. 
equals ln5. I'll then expand these brackets so I get x ln3 plus ln3 equals ln5. I'll then factorize this so I get x ln2 plus ln3 plus ln3 equals ln5. So let's subtract that ln3 to the other side so we get ln5 minus ln3. And then I'm also going to divide the whole thing by ln2 plus ln3. And I'm going to stop there because it says giving your answer in exact form. This means in terms of ln or log. And you know my preference is going to be ln. It's quicker to write, it's quicker to type, all of those kind of things. Now I'm interested to see um, if this actually works. So I'm going to just find out what it is in decimal form. So I'm going to do the ln of 5 minus the ln of 3. And then I'm going to do ln of 2 plus ln of 3. That's my exact answer that I've got. But I'm going to keep it as a decimal. And this time I'm going to keep it stored as my answer. So I'm going to do 2 to the power of the answer multiplied by 3 to the power of the answer plus 1. And we do get the answer 5, which is what we were looking for. So this is it in its exact form. And there's no simplifying that I want to do to that. OK, so there's a couple of questions here that I'd like you to have a go at. Um, pause the video and then see if you get the same as me. And then I'd like you to try exercise 14F, but I want you to leave question two and question four because I'm going to be doing some work on that separately in a separate video in just a second. OK, so I'm going to do this one in the two different methods. I've got three to the power of two X minus one equals five. So if I do this using a log statement, I'm going to say that it's the power of three that gives me five is two X minus one. So it'll be log base three of five plus one all divided by 2 is x. So that's log base 3 of 5 plus 1, all divided by 2. And so x is 1.232, because they wanted this to three decimal places. But of course, I'm going to do my alternative method. So I'm going to take ln of both sides. I'm going to pull that 2x minus 1 down going to expand these brackets so that I get 2x ln3 minus ln3 equals ln5. So 2x equals ln5 plus ln3. Whoops, 2x ln3 equals this. Now just quickly think to yourself what this means. This actually means 2 times x times ln3. So if I want to find out what x is, I can just divide by 2 ln3. So x is going to be equal to ln5 plus ln3 divided by 2 ln3. Now obviously this one's a bit longer than the blue method, but it's just worth knowing you can do both of them. So let's see this is the same. So it's going to be ln5 plus ln3 ln5 plus ln3 divided by 2 ln3, and we do get 1.232 as well. Um, this one actually probably could do a bit of simplifying as well if we wanted it to. I could have simplified this to an ln5 over 2 ln3 plus ln3 over 2 ln3. So the ln3s cancel, and it's ln5 over 2 ln3 plus a half. If you wanted to, you could go that stage further and you could come up with that extra bit there. OK, this one, you do need to use the ln method of both sides because we've got these different bases. So I'm going to do ln of 3 to the power of x plus 1 equals ln of 4 to the power of x minus 1. I'll pull down that x plus 1 and I'll pull down that x minus 1. I'm going to expand the brackets. That's x ln 3 plus ln 3 equals x ln4 minus ln4. So I'm going to put the x, x's on this side over here, and I'll put the ln's on the other side. So pulling the x's to this side, there's going to be an x ln4 minus x ln3. And on this side, I've got ln3 plus ln4. Factorizing the right hand side, I get ln4 minus ln3. And I'm running out of space, so I'm just going to do the last line up here. 
So x is going to be equal to ln3 plus ln4 divided by ln4 minus ln3. And that's all in its exact form there. So we have ln3, whoops, ln3 plus ln4 divided by ln4 minus ln3. So the answer is 8.6 three eight to three decimal places and again I could check this um, I could sub them in but I'm not going to do that you can check that to see if this works okay so let's quickly clear this um, I'm going to go back and see if I do this one taking logs of a different number I think I said I was going to do it of this one yeah I'm going to just do this one and take logs of it as a different number so I did it with an ln here I'm going to go back and try it with, I don't know, log base three of both sides. So if I do three to the power of x equals two to the power of x plus one, if I take log base three of this side, and if I take log base three of this side, it might save us a bit of time. If I do a log base three of this side, it's just gonna leave me with what x is equal to. And here I would have log base three of two to the power of x plus one. I can then pull down that x plus one. So I get log base three of two. I'm then going to expand the brackets, so I get egg, uh, x log base 3 of 2 plus log base 3 of 2. Then get the x terms onto one side. Factorise. And divide. And then beforehand, the answer was 1.71, so we're going to see if we get the same thing. Log base 3 of 2 divided by 1 minus log base 3 of 2. And you do still get that same answer of 1.71. So you don't have to do my method of always taking ln. You can do the base that you think is going to make things a bit easier. I don't know why, I just don't like this button of having to type in the base. I hate having to use these arrow buttons and stuff. I just find it really, really annoying. So try them out with some different bases that you're going to take logs of. Um, they might do it differently in Solution Bank, but this is just the way that I like to do these questions. And another reason I like to do this is because ln is the most common um, log function that you will come across in year two pure maths. We don't use the log function, the log function. We tend to use the natural logarithm a lot more. So I just think it's worth getting used to it now. Okay, I'm going to do a video in a second that will help you do question two and question four.